I'm going to be showing you how I made $3,500 in 72 hours trading on FTMO challenge. For those of you that don't know, I started a 50k FTMO challenge and I'm doing a video series where I'm going to be showing you guys everything, taking you on the journey of me trading the account when I'm in Jordan 1 I'm in profit till I eventually pass the account by the grace of God. At the start of the week, I was down minus 6% on Monday, but now I'm up about 1% on the account, meaning basically I made about 7%, which is about $3,500 on a 50k account in just three days. That's Tuesday to Thursday. I'm going to be showing you guys everything raw. I'm going to be showing you the analysis I took, how I took the trades, when I was taking the trades and after I took the trades. So I recorded everything. So you're going to see it somewhat live. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get started. All right. So this is today is Tuesday. Uh, if you look down here, this is Tuesday, August 6th, 9.15 a.m. So London session just opened about an hour ago. And I've already done the analysis for the pairs that I'm looking at right now. All right, so uh, let me just go through the currency pairs that I'm doing. So I added some USD pairs in here, mainly because I'm, I'm trading on FTMO account. So... I realized that on the FTMO accounts, there are some news that I can trade. All right. So the reason why I removed the USD pairs is because of the news rule. But the main news that I can trade that are restricted on FTMO is mainly like CPI, NFP, PPI. All those ones that usually shake the market. Those are the ones that I can trade. So I'll just be checking the calendar on the FTMO dashboard to see which news I can't trade when it comes to USD news. All right. So EOGBP, looking at this pair, if we go on the one hour chart, I always start my analysis on the one hour charts. All right, so from the one hour chart, I look to identify the trend. I don't go to the four hour chart, I just look at the one hour charts, right? So looking at this, I can see here that price has been going to the upside for some time now. I think throughout last week, price has been going up. And what we have here is price pushed up, pulled back, and now is consolidating right it's now consolidating so so looking at this my bias right now would be looking to sell all right so i'm looking to sell this pair right now because for me with my strategy this is a reversal pattern if they come back up here i'll look for sell if they don't they might just do something like this and then sell off from there so most likely, they will either consolidate today, and then tomorrow maybe go up there and reverse, or they will just continue down today. So this one, my bias is to the sell side. If I'm going to take sales on this, I'll have to wait for them to break to the upside and then reverse, right? So nothing to look at on this pair right now. Your USD, you can see USD did the same pattern, but this one just continued down. So you see price, NFP last week took price to the upside. For the entire week to price it upside now it did this same pattern push pull back started to consolidate now this one didn't break to the upside this one just started going down so really nothing on this pair we have gbp usd gbp usd has been falling so you can see this downtrend here all right and they did the pattern this is the low of last week so they formed this low they went up now it looks like they want to come back to that low so they could either reverse from this area here or the reverse from this area here. Whichever one they reverse from, I would take the buy. So basically what I'm going to be looking for here is I'm going to be looking for a W formation to form to take this back up. They'll either form the W formation here or they'll form it here if they want to reverse back up. Or they could just, it's not every time they'll form the W, they might just do something like this and just continue up. All right, but I'm looking for buys on GBP USD. USD card, this one reversed last week. No, this week that has been going up, going up, going up. It did this crazy stop hunt here and then reversed. So today, you can most likely get something like this to take it back down. If you look at this on the 15 minute charts, I'll be waiting for an M formation to form. So you can see this is the consolidation here. All right. The break to the upside, looking for an M formation to take this back down. So I'm looking for sales on this pair here. So let me just draw the arrows. 
let's go back to GBP USD. Let's let me draw back. Let me draw the arrow. Okay, let me just change this to an arrow so we can come back later on and see if it played out and if it did not play out. So GBP card here. This one I sent it to my Telegram. I'm looking for buys on this pair. They came back to this low of the week. I missed this trade on Friday. All right, I missed this trade on Friday. I took. I would have taken buys here. This would have given me a one to three risk to reward. So I missed the buys. I was asleep. I woke up late. I woke up like nine thirty. So I missed this trade here. Yesterday I took buys. I took buys here. I got stopped out. All right. Then I took another buy here, and then just closed it here because look like price the volatility had reduced so i just scratched out here so i lost one percent here so actually i'm down six percent now on that account All right so this one this one if looks to be forming an a w formation if they can push up here like this this is going to be a w formation All right and i'll be looking to take this back up then eventually get to this high this is the high that i'm going to be targeting this high i'm going to be targeting for take profits right so because this is the most recent high so if i take buys here i'll be looking to take profits at the high of the week here so this one i, I really i'm really expecting this one to form a w formation if it doesn't then it's going to just continue down All right and then we'll look for something else euro card this one pushed up one two three to the upside pulled back i'm waiting for this one to come back to this high here to reverse or just break out on the reverse All right but well, i don't think this one is going to reverse we have uazi chf this one has been dumping all for like four weeks or five weeks or so one two three four five for like five weeks it has been going down today is monday they broke to the downside sorry yesterday was monday they broke to the downside Came back up this one i'll be looking for buys but right now it's not really giving me anything so all the chf pairs are basically doing the same thing here i'm looking for buys on this one so gbp chf i'm looking for buys so if they can give me a w formation i'll look for buys they'll either give me the w formation here like this or they'll come down here and give me the w formation so either one i'll take it uh we have your chf uh, the same thing, basically the same thing. So I'm expecting something. Oh, wait. This is what I'm expecting. All right. This one too. Expecting that. Uh, Cat CHF. I'm expecting the same thing. All right. GBP, JPY. I think the JPY pairs look identical to the CHF pairs too. So this one, I'm going to be looking for the same thing, but this one hasn't really broken out the way I would like. This one too hasn't really broken out. This one hasn't really broken out. This one too. And this one hasn't really broken out. So the pair that I'm looking at right now, currently to look for an entry to buy would be GBP card. I like the way it's rejecting this area. I like the way it's rejecting this this zone. I like the rejection that I'm seeing here. So most likely, if the candle if a candle can just come and close like this, I'll be taking this by. So I have like four trades to take left. All right, I'm down six percent. I'm risking one percent per trade. So I have four trades, four opportunities to get a win. If I can get like one or two wins, I'll be back at break even. If I win two trades in a row, I'll be back at break even because. One win is gonna give me three um three is the one to three risk reward. So one win is gonna give me three percent. So two wins will give me six percent. So if I win two trades from where I'm at now, I'll be back at break even. If I win three trades, I'll be up like two percent or so or three percent. So let's see. I don't know the risk reward for this one. This one might be more than a one to three because this zone actually looks a bit far. So if I can get a good candle that's not too big and probably put my stop loss like down here. I would target this area and this could be like a one to five. This could be like a one to five here. All right. Depending on how big the candle is. I like the way it's rejecting right now. Depending on how big the candle is and my stop loss size 
So I won't want to enter tiny candles here. I want to see, I want to see a, a, something like this. All right. I want to see something like this. Then I'll look to enter. Well, I'm not entering on this rejection at the moment because it's not really looking, it's not really looking pretty. So I'll update you guys on what's after it, after it, if it forms an entry, I'll just show you guys when I'm entering or when I have entered. All right. I told you guys that I was looking for a trade here on GBP card. Eventually, there was no trade that the trade didn't show up. So the just price just continued going down. So that one became invalid. So let me just show you. I entered the trade here on I entered the trade here on USD card. I'm in the trade here, right here, right? That's where I entered my stop loss was above. My take profit is down here. Now the take profit is about like a 1.2, one, one to two points three risk to reward at the moment all right this is where the take profit is at all right this is where the take profit is at all right so i'm just going for one to two on this trade since i'm i'm in drawdown so if i win this it will take me back up a little bit all right so this one is already halfway in profit i'm about to enter a trade here on on um euro gbp Think the candle is about to close in like one minute so you're gonna basically see me enter this trade right now so uh my stop loss is there my take profits would be should be down here i'm gonna reduce this sort of a little bit so basically there are two areas depending on how aggressive they want to be this will be my first target depending on how aggressive they want to be let me see this is a 1.2 point 1 to 2.6. If I'm going to hold it to this point, that'll be a 1 to 5. But since I'm in drawdown, let me just go for a 1 to 2.7. All right, so this is how I place my trade. I just carry my stop loss. I go to my Meta Trader here. I have a tool, a plugin that automatically calculates my lot size for me. So I just put this here on the stop loss. And I've set the take profit already to this price point here. All right, so this is my take profit here. I just copy the take profits here like this and go here, set the take profits here, and then I'm in the trade. So I just got in the trade now. All right, so you can see my stop loss has been set up there. My take profit has been set down here. So you can see it automatically sets the take profit for me. Let me just send this over to my telegram. All right, so yeah, I just got in the trade. You can see the trade here currently on. This is, let me show you the USD card trade currently on. All right, so this one, I'll soon move it to, I'll soon move it to break even, just waiting for, I think the next candle or so. The take profit is just down here. So there's about $1,000. On that, so I'm making like two points two. I'm making exact. I'm making exactly two percent on this trade here. So I'm down six percent. This will get me back. So if I win this trade, if this one hits take profit, I'll be up. I'll be down only four percent. If this one hits take profit, I'll be down only. Um, let's see, four minus two point five. That'll be. I'll be down only like two points five. No, like I'll be down only like one point five percent or so. So, hopefully these two trades go well. There's no, I don't think there's any other trade that showed up here. There's no other trade that showed up. Let me see. GBP USD. This one broke the lows, so nothing here. Although it formed this W formation here, but I like the W formation to form here like this. So it didn't do that. So I'm leaving that one alone. So I'm, I'm basically in the USD card and Euro GBP. GBP card, nothing. Euro card, nothing. USDCHF. Hmm, this looks interesting. If they can, let me see. How many hours? One hour. I don't think they will be able to form a W formation here on this. This one's hours. I'm expecting this to happen. If they can give me a W formation, that would be nice. But I, because of the time of the day, I don't know if they're going to give me a, a, a W formation. But if they do give me, uh, I might not take it because of the session will soon end. I might not take that one on this one too. 
basically i think i'm not taking any other trades i might not take any other trades today after this ones that i just got in now so let's just see how it goes this is the aftermath of the trade that i took yesterday on uogbp as you can see here the trade didn't work out it went in profit just a little bit and then came back came back up and took me out and hit my stop loss so this is minus one percent right there so it hit my stop loss and ended the day up there and fell the next day but the other trade that I was in on Eurocard ended up hitting the take profit uh this was a one to two I this was a one to two but it later went for a one if I had held it uh, let's see if I'd held it to which zone. Let's see this zone here. How many risk reward would that be? So this zone here. This would have been a. If I held it to this zone, that would be a. Okay, that's a one to two point six. So the one to one to three would have been this area here. Would have been this area here. If I held it to this area here, that would have been. Or one to three, or one to three plus. Let's say one to three, exactly, All right? But I closed it at a one to two here. So basically, I lost one percent and made two percent. So basically, I'm up only one percent. And today, I can't really see any trades showing up on any of my pairs right now. It's, I think it's a very boring day. No trades currently your usd i would like to see something like this but they haven't broken out and new york session is about to start new york session, new york session is about to start and i don't think they are breaking out anytime soon gp usd i'm looking for buys here uh they didn't come to my zone usd card nothing there gp card this one just looks weird i don't like it Euro card, nothing. Continuation down. Your USDCHF. If they had given me a second leg here yesterday, that would have been nice, but they did not. I was looking for buys yesterday on this pair. I was looking for buys yesterday on GPCHF. They did not give me the second leg. If they gave me the second leg, I would have entered it and caught this move here. They did not give me the second leg. Then your same thing for Euro CHF and card CHF. The JPY pairs, I haven't really seen any trades on them lately. I haven't seen any trades on them lately. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. If I eventually see any trades today, I'll record a video. And, well, let's see. Maybe tomorrow might be interesting. So we have two days left, Thursday and Friday for the trading week. So let's just see how it how we end the week. Hopefully, by the end of this week, I should be back at break even if i see good trades all right so today is thursday if you look down there today is thursday and i just literally entered into a trade here on usd card so this was a trade i entered a few days ago on tuesday and looks to me that they, they just gave me another setup here so i said let me just record it for you guys to see as i'm seeing this w formation also those of you that know my strategy this is a multi-day W formation after price has been trending to the downside. All right, so this is a reversal trade. It's not a continuation trade. So price has been trending to the downside for like three days, one, two, three, yeah, for like three days. So I'm expecting price to reverse and this is gonna be my target right here. The high of yesterday is gonna be my target. So if price is gonna reverse, they are most likely gonna to get to this high here. All right, so that's where my take profit. It is this is a one to four, one to four risk to reward on this trade. One to four risk to reward. So if this hits TP, I make four percent, and I'm down five percent. So if I make if this trade wins, I'll be down only like one percent or less than. And this you're wonder, probably wondering what this horizontal line is. This horizontal this horizontal line, just I put it there to let me know when I'm gonna close the trade, in the sense that. Anytime I enter a trade, one of my rules is if the trade is not in profit after two hours, I close the trade. So from the entry points here, 
we measure to us is exactly at where this line is. So if I'm not in profit by the time uh the candle that opens at this line closes, then I'll close the trade. So basically, if I'm not in profit after two hours, I'll close the trade. If you look at this trade, you will notice that I was in profit after two hours. After two hours, it was already close to my take profit, right? So because sometimes market tends to consolidate and I don't like that. So if the trade goes well, I'll show you guys. If it doesn't, I'll still show you guys. So let's move on. I came here to do an update on the trade that I entered. You can see this is the USD card trade that I entered. Right now, I think it's about to start moving. All right. And uh, remember the two hour time window that I told you guys that if it's not in profit after two hours, I'm going to close the trade. So this was where I entered. Two hours was here. Two hours was on this candle and the candle was in profit. So because the candle was in profit, I left the trade and now I think it's about to start moving now in New York session. So if this trade gets if this trade gets to the take profit, that will be a one to four risk to reward. I enter two more trades, one on Euro USD. This one is almost at the take profit. You can see the clear M formation there. Right, so you can see this M formation. So I entered the trade right here, stop us above. This one is a one to so one to five risk to reward if we hit the take profit. It already came close to it. So this is the TP here. And price came close to it. So I'm still waiting for it to get there. I'm heading over and allow it to hit. I think if it just comes close to it, I'll close the trade. All right, but waiting for that one. I also entered another trade here on Euro GBP. All right, and I'm expecting price to come all the way to this low. To this one here i'm gonna close the trade when it gets here but it's also it can it could also get to this low here but this is gonna be a one to almost a one to three there's gonna be a one to two point eight risk to reward if it gets there so basically i'm on these three trades your gbp your gbp your usd and usd card yeah and i think i'm already at break even on equity so if we look down here you can see i'm at break even already almost like up one percent yeah almost up one percent in equity it feels like i feel like closing this trade right now honestly but let's just let me just be patient and wait for it to get to get close to my take profit i think if it just goes below this area here i'll close the trade on your usd but my trade my stop loss is in a break even let me just move it i just moved it in a little bit of profits here about one sixty nine dollars in profits. So worst case scenario, but I believe that's gonna get to the zone by the end of the day. So I'm gonna just hit, leave it to hit to take profits. Then USD card. This one has started moving. All right, haven't put this one at break even yet. All right, still waiting for it to move more before I set my stop loss to break even. And then the last trade here, Euro GBP. The take profit is down here. All right. And this is my entry. Let me just move my stop loss just a little bit closer like this. Also to move USD card a little bit closer. So this is how I manage my trees, guys. To show you guys how I do this live. And yeah, so I will show you guys the update at the end of... Oh, wow, this is going nicely. At the end of the day, I'll show you guys the updates. All right, so yeah. Yeah, let's get it. So this is USD card. This trade ended up not going anywhere. So I basically closed this trade somewhere here. I closed it somewhere here. Just a little bit of profit. All right. The trade didn't go anywhere. It just went sideways all the day. So this one, you can basically say this is like break even. But on the other side, we have Euro GBP here that I sold at this highs. I think somewhere here. Yeah. So this ended up getting to this zone. I closed mine at this area here, somewhere around here, for one to two risk to reward. If I held it longer to this other zone, that would have been a one to three, one to four. I closed mine at a one to two around like here. All right, or one to two point something around there. So that is, so I basically won two trades. So Euro, Euro GBP and Euro USD 
So as you can see here, USD. This one hits my TP, smash the TP. This is a one to four. I got a one to four on this one. I don't know because of spread and some other because of spread and I think my entry was like down here, so this went a little bit lower. So this was a one to four point one or so. But still a one to four risk to reward on this trade. So they went hit my take profit, and currently now I'm up. one percent so i basically went from down five to six percent i was down six percent at the beginning of the week now i'm up i'm up one percent so basically i made seven percent in in four days <laughs> that's crazy isn't it so i'm up one percent which is five hundred dollars so hopefully let's see how the rest of the week plays out tomorrow is friday i might not trade tomorrow but but next week hopefully by the grace of god let's see If we get good trades next week, then I can pass the accounts next week, pass the first phase next week. So hope you guys found some value in this. You've seen me, how I place my trades, how I make my analysis. It's not really that difficult. All right, just wait for the trade to play out, to come to you, and then you enter and just wait for it to hit your take, take profit or hit your stop loss, either one. All right, so if you guys found this helpful, or if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And... I'll see you guys on the next video next week. All right, take care.